Hi everyone. I'm going to make another video. This video is called Being a Single Mother While Going Through a Spiritual Awakening. Or it's going to be titled something like that. Um, I always write blogs, usually after I make the video, or sometimes before. I never have a set thing as long as I do them. Um, usually I'll write a blog. So, or I'll, I don't know what the title will be, actually. So if the title changes a little bit, then that's what happens. So, okay. I um, received a comment that really touched my heart um, from from a young girl who's, well, she's 19, and that's really young in, in my eyes, um, young in comparison to me. Um, and she's a single mother with two children. And um, it really, really touched my heart. Uh, she commented on my channel, um, and she asked if I could do a video about um, single moms. And, um, you know, it's, it's so wonderful because um, I have experience with this. So I have knowledge with having two children. When I started going through my huge awakening, I already had two children. I had my first son when I was 21. So I know what it's like to be going through a spiritual awakening and um, as a single mother. And also, not having any support, not only that, feeling like I was going crazy. And um, I think there's a lot of people out there, a lot of mothers, especially single mothers or not, okay? Being a mother is such a beautiful gift. I believe that to even be able to have a child and take care of a child is 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 such a huge responsibility and it's almost like the most important thing you will ever do in your whole life is take care of another human being and not only take care of them but to teach them what they need to know um, in order to become great people and I think that a lot of the things that we learn um, on how to be a good parent um, in this society, they're okay, you know, but there's always room for a huge improvement in, in how to, um, to, to parent because children are so smart right when they're born. It's like my children came here already knowing me. They chose me. In fact, I believe that, that you choose your parents, you choose your situation. And so, you know, they chose you as a mother, if, if you are a mother with children. Um, and it's just such a great gift. Now it's super, super, super difficult. The most difficult thing ever. But if you are a mother or a single mother with not a lot of support on your own with kids, oh, I could start crying because you're just a wonderfully strong, beautiful person, okay? And you are going through that experience to strengthen yourself. And um, you have the strength to get through it, and you will. And it will only make you stronger and um, a better mother. And, you know, you, you have to just do your best. You have to always just do your best. And your children will know that. Your children will always feel that you're doing your very best for them. And that's all that they need. Children really, what they really need is time you have to an attention and obviously you have to give them the right information <laughs> you don't, don't want to give them the wrong information um, and they need 
a lot of love. Okay, and even if sometimes you're busy working a lot or doing things like I just, when I had my kids when they were little, I had to work all the time, I went to school all the time. I was always gone a lot because I had to do those things, but um, they knew how much I loved them and they knew I was doing it all for them. So they could feel that and they were okay with that and they, you know, it's, and it, and it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy for them and it wasn't easy for me. But like I said, I am a believer that we choose our particular situations to bring us to where we need to be. And there's people that do not believe that at all. And they want to do the victim thing. The poor me. And that would be people that thinking things just are random and they happen to them and then they're like, oh my gosh, why did this happen to me? When you take responsibility for your life and your, your situation, you become stronger and you have a greater ability to deal with, um, you know, the things that are coming up. I have um, a goal and a mission and that is... First, you know, I think I've said it before in my other videos that I'm going to start a school. And when I start um, bringing in more income, one of my biggest things is to really help single mothers. It's something that's just really, um, I'm really, really drawn to. And of course, that's why I went through my experience. So, it's much better to be a single mother than to be a mother in a bad relationship in front of your children. Children need consistency. They need to know that their situation is stable. Everything is not going to be perfect. You know, I I've, I've never been like a perfect mom. I, you know, especially my boys they don't listen very well. Well, they listen, but they don't like, I, I feel like I have to tell them something over and over and over and over and over to, and then it just, I don't even think like the thousandth time I say it, it sticks, but even so it gets frustrating. <laughs> but like my little girl, you tell her one time and she gets it. I'm just like, wow. And then she's there to like, it's, it's just, it's, it's interesting. The differences between boys and girls, but I love my kids so much and it's never perfect and it's never easy but it's a great gift and if I could tell you one more thing oh I want to go back on that point a little bit kids okay I think I think in our society people think oh if you don't have like the mom and the dad living in this like fantasy like you know, happy lifestyle, home situation, you know, then your kids are going to be troubled. And that's not true. Like, and then, then there's those people, which maybe you were, and maybe it really affected you when you're really, really young and your parents got a divorce and split up the family and that way you were traumatized. Okay. I don't know, like when my parents were, when I was little and my parents were little, my parents stayed married and my parents had six children. So I was the oldest and it was like horrible. Like I was like, please get a divorce. I didn't, <laughs> anyway, so I'm just talking from my experience. I know a lot of people are traumatized from their parents getting divorced. In my opinion, it is much easier for children to be with living with their mother and seeing their father or living with their father and seeing their mother, whatever the case may be, some fathers have the children, single fathers, single mothers, whatever. And there's no fighting, there's no animosity, there's no like bad vibes because children can feel that. Even if you don't fight in front of the children, they can feel that you're not happy. And if you're not happy, your children aren't happy. So, okay. It's much better to be, your material things don't mean anything, okay? If you're with, if you're with a man that, that helps 
you know, support you financially, and so you you think that that you have to have that. That's how my mom was. My mom stayed with my dad because my dad made a lot of money, and she was scared to leave because of that. But she would leave from time to time, like for a little while, like a couple of weeks or three weeks, and we didn't have anything. But I was like the happiest time of my childhood because my parents weren't fighting. Anyway, material things don't mean anything. Of course, you, you need to have enough money to support yourself and your kids. But can I tell you one other thing? That's, that's see, this, this subject is very, very um, important to me. Um, and actually my friend, an old friend that I had, Okay, I'm trying not to get emotional again. Um, an old friend that I had, such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful person. Very, very spiritual. Um, she had kids too. She was a single mom just like I was. You know, pe people come together at the right times to help each other. And she said she was Christian. She was really into God. And she was saying, Angel, don't worry about anything because... A mother who's there for her kids and takes care of her kids will always, always be taken care of no matter what. No matter what. And guess what? It's true. <laughs> There's a special place for mothers with their children. That's that, a, a, a place that you will be helped and you will be you 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 don't have to really worry and I know as a mother you worry and you worry and you worry but you really don't have to there is support out there there is um, there are all the people will come as needed but if you ever feel like if you're a single mom with children right now and if, if you really need help please email me through my website so that we can stay in contact and if you need any help um, or guidance or anything like that I'm totally here for you because um, I know what that's like and I know what an important job you have as a mother so I probably didn't say everything that I wanted to say so if you have any comments about this video please leave them below and I'll um, try to answer all your questions and um, as quickly as I can um, but you are doing such a wonderful job if you're a mom and maybe you're not a single mom and that's okay if you're a mother at all you're doing a wonderful job <laughs> especially if you're going through a spiritual awakening on top of it oh my gosh but your children that are born while you're going through a spiritual awakening are very special and they came to you at a certain time in the right time on purpose for a reason and they're there, like, I mean, I could tell so many stories, but I just remember my, my son, and today's his birthday. He's a little Aquarian, a little Aquarius. He's just the most beautiful, beautiful boy in the whole world. Matthew. Gift of God is what Matthew means. And um, today he's 14. So um, <clears throat> when he was a little baby, I could just remember he was like five months old. And I was like, you know, I still have this like kind of like, like, I don't know, like fun personality. Like just, I don't know how to describe it, but he's not like that. He is not like that. He can be, but he's very serious and observant. And he's just like, he looked at me when he was like five months old and he, I could hear him, but I couldn't. He was like talking to me through telepathy and he'd say, Mom, you need to get it. What are you doing? You need to get it together. Like, and I would like look at him and I'm like, what? This little boy is talking to me, <laughs> telling me I better get it together because I was like so carefree and so like, la, 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 skipping around, everything's, but he's like, uh-uh, nope, we're not doing that. So, <laughs> anyway, they're very special. They're gifts. They are gifts from God. 
And no matter what struggle you're in, you always have them and they're there with you. And, you know, it's just, it's, it's like anything. It's so beautiful and so wonderful, but so difficult at the same time. It's like a sp spiritual awakening on top of it. And maybe your kids came in, in to help you to awaken. You never know. Because um, I awakened after I had my kids. So, wow, the video is really long, just like my other video, but I'm going to let everyone go. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you'd like to schedule a spiritual guidance session with me, please go below the video and um, go on my website. And that's where you can find my services. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day.